guys welcome back to my channel i'm wild because it's training time today we're going to be talking about some ideas that i think <laughs> it's hard to say this but that would improve star stable what i'm saying is these ideas are kind of what star stable would need my ideas that like i'm going to be talking about some of my ideas that i personally think would make star stable a fun more fun <laughs> some ideas that i personally think would make star stable a bit more realistic and stuff so anyway let's get started my first one is a spoiler alert so what uh, you know so this spoiler alert is actually i was watching a video on star stable online united her channel on her channel and she had a video you can watch it more for details but it said that we were getting possibly more updated characters and kind of stuff like that updated characters and there was like this build mode button update spoiler thing so i'm getting a little excited i'm thinking what if, like, we had, in Star Table, we had apartments that we could, like, live in, or, like, apartments on our home stables, and we could customize these apartments, or just customize our home stables, that would be, also be cool, and we could customize, like, these different, like, things um, on our apartments, and we could have, like, apartments we could live in, and it would make, it would make, Role, realistic role playing so much easier no i'm not counting the apartments or the houses that we get to live in in quests sometimes i'm not actually counting that that's just questing you can only do it for a day if you have this amount of star coins but like what if this this apartment like that we had was ours like we actually owned it maybe it was in governor's fall or something wait did i say it right governor's fall or Governor Fall. I, no, Governor Fall. I'm crazy. I can't speak. Okay. So, I was also thinking, like, besides the apartment thing, which, personally, I think is a good idea, I was thinking maybe in 2018, they did a car stable for April Fool's Day, and, like, instead of horses, it was cars that you could drive around, and, personally, I would think that would be amazing if they could bring that back, because I missed it. I just heard so much about it, like, but I actually missed the update. I cannot believe, I, I'm so jealous of the people who actually got to do the update. I would do anything in, to do, to bring cars back, and maybe, like, if they added cars in the game, like, except not, like, cars that you could, like, drive all day, maybe just cars that, like, you could instead of trailers sometimes you could get around like like ferries and boats sometimes you could get around by car instead like in Jorvik Jorvik city in governor's fall and like Aiden's plaza or whatever how you say it you could get around by car and you could like you could like drive in a car instead of just walking around and i think it'd be personally nice if like or our chat system, our chat system could like get better. <laughs> what I'm saying is you can't really say like a lot of things. You you have to like substitute. You can't really say Frisian, you have to say Frezzy. You gotta like substitute, or in my opinion, like when I ever try to say Frisian, you can't say it. And there's some words that you have to use in sentences you can't say numbers that much so like it'd be cool if we got a chat update where we could like say more things just not um no cursing because i'm not a fan of cursing but like maybe if we had like a better chat system they wouldn't let you say per they wouldn't let you say particular words not just like sentences and like you know things you wouldn't be able to say inappropriate words that's that's all I'm saying. Um, and oh, and I'm just thinking maybe we could have like some more updates that would 
Like, maybe our characters could actually eat once in a while. I'm bad at this race. Uh, our characters can't eat if you go at, like a, like, a place to eat. Our characters actually can't eat. The food just sits there and then disappears after time. I think it'd be nice if we could actually eat, in my opinion. Like, our characters could eat and, like, we could do more eating things. <laughs> And lots of people say this, but, like, what if we had, like, an option to give away? Like, not give away our horses for good, but, like, people could borrow the horses. Now, I understand how Star Stable hasn't added this, because then, if you wanted a, to buy a, if you wanted to buy a horse and your friend had it, you could technically just test out your friend's horse. But it'd be nice if, like, you could buy horses, like, maybe, you know. It'd also be nice if the Star Coins price was lowered down. This is not, like, an update or something, but I'm just saying. It'd be nice. It would also be nice. No, I'm not a noob. I'm not, like, a non-Star Rider. I'm a Star Rider. But it'd also be nice if the Star Rider, non-Star Riders, could do more things than just hanging out and doing a few races. If they can even train, I don't even know. But, like, maybe they could actually get a chance to buy one horse other than their starter maybe like you could get a chance as a as a non-star rider to like maybe borrow someone's horse for like an estimated amount of time once a day or if that seems too specific maybe you could like be a, a non-star rider a noob and like you can like, buy one other horse besides your starter. I know this game is about, like, bonding with horses, bonding with your starter, particularly. And I am not one of the people who, like, has a real bad opinion on my starter. In fact, I actually like my starter. I actually like my starter horse. I don't have, like, a real... Ugh, I don't not like her. She's actually... No, it's a he. Okay, I'm confusing myself. I actually like my starter horse. Some people don't, but, like, what if, as a non-star rider, you could be able to buy, like, maybe star coins with a lower price, or you would be able to buy star rider with a lower price, or just buy a horse. Now, lots of people say this, but, like, I mean, it's very common, but if we could buy horses with, like, pricey shillings like if they let us have a bigger amount of shillings and you could have like there's no max shillings and then you could have a, like horses were pricey shillings and you could earn horses that would be more like real life if you earned horses instead of buying them with real money if you like earned your shillings until you got enough to like get um get a horse now i don't have that many shillings right now but like it'd be nice if you added up on shillings like for training and doing chores and then you could buy a horse in in star coins or you could um earn star coins but like maybe you could earn star coins like you could earn them like you could earn a few by doing chores only a few not necessarily like shillings where you where you earn like 25 shillings for doing races sometimes i'm saying maybe you could earn like five star coins each by doing races and that would make training a bit more enthusiastic like it would make it so that people would actually do it more i'm not saying that you should train i mean you should so your horses are, like, max, but I'm saying it would make it more fun for players who don't like to train. Like, they could earn star coins by training, and it would make it more fun. I also think that one time they came up with an update, it said mounted games for Starshine Ranch, and it was really just training. It was really just races. So maybe... Oh my gosh, I'm terrible at this race. These races I'm terrible at. Maybe, like... You could, I just lost my thought. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not doing this race again. I don't like this race. Yay. 
maybe maybe we could like I lost my thought. Lost my thought. <sighs> I do not know what I was saying because I lost my train of thought. Oh my goodness. But it'd just be nice for Oh, I remembered. The update the update was like mounted it said mounted games and it was really just a bunch of training races. Now I'm not saying that's bad, but like, you know. It was really just a bunch of training races. What if like we could actually have mounted games? Like instead of playing hide and go seek or tag with your friends, maybe we could really have mounted games against the NPCs other than just the opponent's races at Starshine Ranch. Maybe we could really have NPC games like NPC tag. NPC stands for non player non player character if you don't know that. I think it does at least. But like we could have non player character tag. Like and the NPCs could could like play tag with us or like could you know, do other things. There's plenty of ways to make Star Stable more realistic. Plenty of ways to make Star Stable more realistic. And the next Wednesday, there is a Silver Glade revamp. So maybe it'll end up being more realistic. Maybe Silver Glade Village will end up being more realistic. But it said on the bottom, Silver Glade Village revamp is unrevealed or revealed or something. But I hope that they make Silver Glade Village more realistic. That'd be pretty cool if they did that. It would be pretty. It'd be pretty um, cool. I'm excited to see the new Silverglade Village. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to put down in the comments some of your ideas. Okay. That you have, um, and I'll definitely check those out. And thanks for watching. And bye. Okay. Bye.